All right, guys, we are back with the kicking clinic, and uh, we are still on flexibility, okay? So we're moving on through, about to finish up with flexibility. So today, we're actually going to address the posterior chain, okay? So we're working on the po posterior, all right? The posterior chain, okay? So that's a group of muscles that are kind of on the back side. An anterior chain, if you remember, was the, the uh, hip flexor and then the quadricep. Now the posterior chain is actually your butt and your hamstrings, okay? So your butt and your hamstrings. So we'll say hamstrings and number two, your butt, all right? So your butt. So your hamstrings, they actually attach pretty high. They attach on the kind of back side, the posterior side of your pelvis and run down all the way below your knee, okay? So they do two things. They, number one, help you bend your knee, all right? So if you're sitting there and working out, do a hamstring curl, sitting there bending your knee, okay? That's one function of uh, the hamstrings. But the other function of the hamstring is actually hip extension. So pulling it back. So, you know, so just kicking your leg back, okay? So two functions there. And then your butt, of course, your butt obviously helps you kick your hip back, okay? okay. Uh, the butt works on hip extension, okay? And the butt also is a really, really big stabilizer. So as far as the plant leg side, the butt is really gonna help us stabilize, okay? But uh, as far as the kicking the leg side, we need to make sure that we have a flexible hamstring and a flexible butt because that's gonna allow us to have a good high follow through. If our hamstrings are tight, then there's no way that we're going to be able to, there's no way that our hip flexor and our quads are going to be able to drive that, that loud truck just drove by. There's no way that if our hamstrings are tight, there's no way that we'll have a good follow through. There's no way our muscles can drive that follow through up high. Okay? So, like I said, let's start off with a picture, okay? Because just, I think that helps. I don't know if it does or not. Okay? So this is actually the back side, okay? So there's no face there. All right, so this is the shoulders, the hips, and those little dots up there, those are the knees. I actually have a green marker, I hope it shows up. Okay, so obviously our butt, now our hips come up, you know, this is just the hip joint. Now our hip bones actually come up, so your butt actually uh, is a really big muscle and it starts way up there, kind of on the top of your hip bone. If you feel your side, there's a hip bone, follow the hip bone on around, and, and then you'll feel that's kind of where the butt starts, originates. And then it actually comes down and attaches kind of at the top part of the back of your thigh bone, okay? Just like that, okay? And then your hamstring actually attaches right above the joint, okay? Kind of low on that posterior pelvis. And it actually comes all the way down and actually attaches right below the knee, okay? So that explains why you do the two motions with the hamstring that knee bending and the hip extension okay so those are the two muscles we're talking about a big butt muscle and a big uh, hamstring muscle okay so let's show you how to stretch it okay you probably I'm pretty sure y'all probably have a good idea how to stretch your hamstrings that's a pretty common muscle that we stretch let's back up here so you can see what I'm doing all right so the hamstring is a pretty common muscle that all of us stretch. All right, so there's a couple different ways to do the hamstring. All right, the first way to do the hamstring, a uh, pretty easy way, you've probably done it a hundred times, legs straight, and you're just gonna bend over like you're gonna touch your toes, okay? Just like that. If you notice, there's two, there are a couple things here that makes this stretch better, okay? Number one, if your knees are not, uh, if your knees are bent a little bit, you're not going to get that good of a stretch. Okay, your knees need to be straight. Okay, that's going to get a good stretch. And the second thing, if you look at my back, if we let our back round out like that, we're really not going to get that good of a hamstring stretch. Okay, that's going to really stretch kind of the, the low back. You're really, I mean, you get a hamstring stretch, but it's just not great. Okay, I don't know how many of you guys deadlift, but if you deadlift or even when you squat, you always hear your coach flat back, flat back, right? So when we do the stretch. When I have a flat back, keep my back nice and flat, and then I'm gonna bend over. If you notice, I don't go as far, 
But I tell you what, I'm getting a lot better stretch, okay? I feel that all the way from kind of mid-butt all the way down here to right behind my knees, okay? So that's a good stretch. Hold it just like that, okay? You do it just like that. Or... Or if you want to isolate it a little bit more, get you a bucket or something, keep your leg up there just like that. Same thing though, okay? Keep your back straight. Keep your back straight. It's going to really stretch that hamstring. You do it like that, okay? That's number two for the hamstring. For number three, we can kind of like our splits for the groin. We'll split it, and then we'll just go now, okay? That actually gets more of the kind of the medial or the, a little bit more of the inside of the hamstring, okay? So if you look at the back of my leg, if you do the splits here and come in, you'll feel that a little bit more on the inside. You'll get a little bit of groin in there, but you'll also feel a little bit more on the inside of the hamstring. Okay, so just like that, go to each side, okay? Three easy hamstring stretches. Now the butt is a different story. It's a little more difficult. All right. One way, three ways to do the butt. One way to do it, get you a bench or a table, okay? And we're going to throw our leg up there just like that. Okay, you notice how I'm doing. Same thing here, back straight. And what I'm doing is I'm pushing my shoulders down over my knee, okay? So look at it from the side. Right here, just like that. Up nice and tall, we're gonna lean forward. You'll feel it right there in that butt, okay? Actually one of my favorite stretches, okay? So that's way number one. Butt stretch number two is basically the same position, but we're down on the ground, okay? So same position, but we're down on the ground. Just like that, pushing those shoulders down toward the, toward the ground. Okay, just like that, you're feeling the butt. All right? And then way number three, this one's really kind of weird. You're gonna get, like in, sitting Indian style, but we're actually gonna cross that leg over the top. Okay, so the stre leg that I'm stretching goes on top, and I'm pulling that knee kind of toward that opposite shoulder, just like that. So I'm stretching my left butt cheek right here. Pull it in just like that. If I wanted to do my right butt, I just switch it. Right leg goes on top, up nice and tall, and I'm pulling that, and I'm pulling that right knee toward that left shoulder. Really getting a pretty good stretch in there, okay? So that's it. Three easy stretches there. All right, so three stretches there uh, to address the butt, uh, butt and the hamstring, okay? Again, not one of them is better than the other. I just like to give you guys some options, okay? At least a couple of different options. Because uh, sometimes, you know, your hamstring may be sore, but it may be more the inside of your hamstring or maybe whatever, okay? So that's a good, uh, a good stretch to do, okay? So again, we're going to do three to five sets. And we're going to hold it 15 to 30 seconds, okay? Three to five sets, perform three to five sets, you, you're going to hold it uh, 15 to 30 seconds, okay? So today, just to review, all about the posterior chain, the hamstrings, and the butt. That makes those the two muscle groups that make up the butt, uh, excuse me, make up the posterior chain, hamstrings and the butt. Okay, these are really important, okay, especially the hamstrings are really important we, if we have uh, nice flexible hamstrings we'll have a good follow through okay the butt same thing got to have a, a nice flexible butt muscle in order to have a good uh, a good follow through remember we got to do this on both sides because the butt especially is a very big stabilizer so for our plant leg that butt muscle is really active uh, while we're uh, stabilizing while we're planting so it's going to get really really tight so make sure you do these stretches on both sides Hold uh, three to five sets, hold them 15 to 30 seconds. All right, so uh, that's pretty it, pretty much it. Uh, rock and roll, keep stretching, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.